so in this video we'll be talking about uh, configuring the yum software repository on a Red Hat Enterprise Linux server or a CentOS machine now before I move on to the yum repository initially Red Hat uh, developed the RPM packet manager it did provide a standard way to package the software for distribution managing the software in form of RPM packages initially it was easy but once the system is installed the additional software packages and updates are normally installed from a network package repository and the RPM command may be used to install update and uh, remove and query the RPM packages however it does not resolve the dependencies automatically and that's where yum comes in handy so here we, we're gonna see how can we configure a yum repository by mounting the CD-ROM I am using uh, VMware workstation to host a virtual machine uh, this is a Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 machine I've already mounted the CD-ROM if you want to do it you can do this using the VMware settings hotkey for that is control D and you see the DVD is already mounted so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to mount the device CD-ROM onto MNT directory there it's done I'm going to change the directory to etc yum dot repos dot d I'll do ls it's nothing here I'm going to create a file you can name it anything you want but dot rdpo is necessary you have to put the dot rdpo to the file and you have to append it to that you do that in square brackets base is necessary a name again you can give it whatever name you want necessarily it doesn't have to be same as in the file name base URL oh, typo base URL the base URL is a file at the MNT location now uh, in many cases you'd be given a URL if, if you are given a URL similarly you can just replace the file with URL and put the URL in there then we say GPG check equals 0 and enabled equals 1 now why do we um, add this line for GPG check here is that uh, initially if we do not add the GPG check or if we set the uh, value of gpg check to 1 it's going to verify all the rpms it downloads so we don't want that for now so that's it the repo file has been done we can just run this command yum clean all this cleans up everything Set. I'll do a control L that's going to clean the screen. I'll run this command simply yum repo list and that's it. The repository has been configured. You can test it. I will try installing yum install and map. There, it's resolving the dependencies. It's taking time. So that's what it'll do. It'll just resolve the dependencies and it will install all the dependencies including the package as well. Now the yum command searches numerous repositories for packages and their dependencies so that they may be installed all together in an effort just to just to alleviate the dependency issues. The main configuration file for yum is uh, like I said slash etc slash yum dot conf and the additional repository files are located here okay yes I want to install that and 
now repository files you can create at this location slash etc slash yum dot repos dot d and there's it it's complete so it's as simple as that you can set up your own red hat repository by mounting a cd rom